Well, Liverpool is fairly low level of, I mean, enjoyable maybe more than Liverpool. Yes, but uh, what makes a city Liverpool? I, I think, I think our, our requirements are fairly modest in a way, but I think we, we you know, the, the city gives us a, a location and gives us a, mm, a sense of belonging. I mean, I think what we expect from a city is more than just a place to live. I think we look for some idea of community, which is maybe the most difficult aspect of a city. I think providing comfortable accommodation, a nice apartment, <coughs> even a nice street, uh, that's a f that should be something we can handle, uh, although not always. Um, but what makes the city, as opposed to you know, our neighbourhood or something, like that, is a much more complicated thing, and I think we struggle with that now. I think that uh, the city is the typical modern contemporary city is a bit losing its identity through uh, big investments, uh, speculation. I mean, I'm, I'm especially coming from a London perspective more than a Swiss perspective, um, we are losing some of the normal quotidian um, uh, infrastructure. I think Z Zurich is, a, I would say, a very livable city from that point of view. Zurich is, uh, has managed to uh, find a way of protecting its general character. Um, of having good public services, maintaining streets and squares and trees and pavements, you know, this just good housekeeping, good city housekeeping. Um, uh, this seems to come very natural in Switzerland and not so easily in other places. Um, I think a city is, is a place where we look for complexity and diversity, and to some degree a little bit of confusion. You know, I think we are, uh, I think we are a little bit schizophrenic about this in a way that we, we, we like vibrant cities, cities with lots of life. Um, uh, at the same time, we want to be comfortable. So we, I think the ideal city for me is a place where you have a, a good individual condition, but in a very vibrant um, social structure. The typical modern city is becoming, I would say, a little bit boring from that point of view. The centers are becoming uh, over-invested. They become extremely expensive. Normal people can't afford to live there anymore. They become about tourism, they become about shopping. Uh, and the center of the city becomes a bit empty in a way. And I think this is, uh, this is a shame because I think uh, we don't want the city to be um, uh, somehow economically zoned. You know, rich people in the middle and poor people on the edges. I think we like a city where it's diverse and has a democratic feeling. And uh, I think this is uh, this is under 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 pressure. So I think going you know looking forward, I, I would say that the city has to start being uh, has to address better this idea of social inequalities. You know, I mean, the city shouldn't be a representative of s social inequality. I mean, the opposite. I mean, in a way, I, I want to come out of my house and find uh, different people. And, and, uh, and secondly, I think increasingly we have to deal with environmental issues of clean air, of more sensible transportation, uh, green space, good space. I mean, I think this is the this is the vision going forward. I think the problem is that the forces which are taking us away from that 
other forces, let's say, of tourism. You know, we have a city like Barcelona with, with uh, more than 30 million tourists a year, 20 times the population visit the city. Uh, and in cities like London, you have speculation in the centers, which are increasing the land values so high. So all of a sudden, the forces on the city are not the ones to do with citizens.